So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. I'm Peter Drury and it's a pleasure to be alongside Jim Begley. Thanks for that, Peter. Hi, everyone. The excitement has really picked up now and I'm eager for the action to start. Two starting lineups. Things running. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Andrea Pirlo is the one to watch for me because he can control the tempo and the possession in that quarterback type position he likes to operate in, and he does it with such ease and elegance. Uh, he's an artist at work. Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. And to four! Field. It's nice to get it forward quickly. This is quite a run and he's not done yet. It's a good looking cross to four. It's anyone's ball. Pirlo. it towards the front still goalless at the moment tries a through ball now here's the through ball to four big relief it just needed better contact he was in such a great position in front of the goal and you'd expect him to score from there but somehow He's missed it. That is a poor kick by the keeper, been intercepted. Forceful run down the right, but he's short of options now. Comes forwards. Good spell of possession, this, but very little to show for it. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. You have to admire commitment like that, because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing, but instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. Now the pass. Gets it into the middle. And the defence can get it clear. And to four! Well, when it becomes that speculative, I think it requires... And the first 45 minutes are up. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organised. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. And the second half gets on the way. Nil-nil then, and we're back on the way. Good 
defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Tilo. So what now? forward questions were asked but he's given the answers nil nil the score and we're just about done a deeply frustrating game well there wasn't much of an appetite to close them down from that range then but they're taking a bit of a risk because you know anybody is capable of a, a decent strike from there passes it through he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. I timed this run brilliantly, and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then, and I think he's letting him know right now about that. Just a little more behind it was needed. And he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Strong punch. Who's going to make this theirs? Raola. Lampard played in with accuracy. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. No, that's not the ball he wanted. Looks like a good ball through. Really should have hit the net. That's a poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. If we're going to get a winner, it's got to come now. that well to four oh brilliant just brilliant well it just goes to show you you can't keep a good man down or in this case a very good man and when the situation demanded it he dipped into his considerable reserves and produced a terrific late late moment oh a goal of real quality he made it look ridiculously easy look Follies can be worked on and improvements can be made, but in the moment it takes timing and balance to catch the perfect spot on the ball to produce brilliance like that. That is absolutely magnificent. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. The final whistle, terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny, just a goal in it, but that was enough. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? At times it was like Groundhog Day because of their continuous success in using width as the best route to goal. It worked a treat and it, it looked a treat. And, you know, it was a real risk and reward approach that gave them the crucial advantage. So many thanks to Jim Beglin, that's all we have time for, good evening to you.